When you start the season, you always want to win. When you are second two times or three times, you want more than that. Having been so close to becoming champions, the thirst to win intensified. The only goal for 2019 was to take the manufacturer's championship. The battle lines were drawn. New team principal, Andrea Adamo. What I'm seeing in Hyundai is uh, more passion respect to what I've seen in Honda. The team also acquired another secret weapon, the legendary Sebastian Loeb, nine times world champion. So it will be tricky, difficult, but uh, I'm motivated. With the hiring of new management and a superstar driver, Hyundai Motorsport has made their move for 2019. We've been two times so near uh, to achieve our goals. This year will be our year. Success in 2019 can only have one outcome, the stage set. The twisting and turning mountain roads of Monte Carlo. Hyundai Motorsport may have set its sights on the championship, but other teams also have eyes on the prize. Loeb uses his experience to bring a winning attitude to his new team. Fourth place, but good team points. Thierry Nerville, the last but one driver. Nerville making every effort. Thierry crossed the finish line in second place, not on top of the podium, but a good start to the season. We are not really satisfied with second place. Uh, we were so close to win Rally Monte Carlo for the first time. We gave it everything, or we believe. Earning 30 points for the Manufacturers' Championship, Hyundai Motorsport has a good start to the season. No one had a clear advantage to start the 2019 Rally Sweden. Thierry's aggressiveness was noticeable, recording the fastest time in the first stage. This was the type of start the team needed, until a sudden crash halts the momentum. Competitors took advantage of the opportunity, with drivers swapping positions rapidly. Yes, another stage win, the power stage win. Tanex Toyota. Hyundai Motorsport took another podium in third place, but rival manufacturers have overtaken them. Tanax win games and driver's points, but it also pushes his Toyota team a single point ahead of Hyundai in the Manufacturers' Championship. The brutal off-road course of Rally Mexico. Hyundai Motorsport is in good spirits, staying near the top of the leaderboard in the first stages. Then, things began to unravel. And worse was to follow for Hyundai with high-flying Danny Sordo grounded by an alternator failure. Thierry was not immune to misfortune. A punctured tire prevented him from clocking a good time. Andrea sustained suspension damage. That caused him to retire for the day. In the manufacturer's standings, Toyota extended their lead, but now that lead is over Citroën as Hyundai drops to third. The notorious 10,000 turns of the Tour de Corsa. The narrow, winding mountain roads have caused terrible accidents in the past. The Tour de Corsa marks the one-third point of the 2019 season. Hyundai Motorsport has fallen to third place. If they are the challenge for the championship, they must make a stand here. It's a technical rally with a very different kind of, of, of roads, uh, some bumpy places, some very fast section also. It's interesting, you need to, to find the right rhythm all the time. From the outset of the rally, competition was fierce. Thierry and Danny held third and fourth place through the initial stages. Free of errors, Thierry takes over first place on the leaderboard. However, M Sports' Elfin Evans is hot on his tail. Even a small mistake could cost a position. Thierry Nerville was struggling. He was struggling to keep up, keep up at all. Nerville had leaped 
16 massive seconds. That was heaps. Jerry, my goodness me, the time's not there. What's happened? I don't know. Does the car feel okay? Yeah, but moving a lot, moving a lot. I was moving a lot and uh, I couldn't go any faster. Neuville's lead had been smashed and Evans now at the front by over 11 seconds. Last but one round the coast road. Last night's leader, Thierry Neuville. What had he achieved? He'd have to wait. One cruise left out there, and here he came. But then, what was that? A square metre of, of missing road. It had punctured Elvin's tyre. The wheel, the front right, down to the rim. The Fiesta, slow. The win was Thierry's. Reducing mistakes, continuing to battle, to concentrate on finishing. This is how wins are made. We build a team from the scratch. We improve uh, the experience, human resource. We put ourselves in question. We build a strong team. With a victory, Nouvelle overtakes Augier as championship leader by two points. In the manufacturer standings, Hyundai jumps to first place, 12 points ahead of Citroën, who remain in second place. The joy of winning Corsica carried over into Argentina. Hyundai Motorsport controlled the pace throughout the rally. It was a showcase of their precision and skill. Is this rally winning consistency from Thierry Neuville? If Corsica was a gift, Argentina he had grabbed early. With such performances, the championship was within their grasp. Thierry Neville's second victory of the season extends his driver's championship lead to more than 10 points. Hyundai also takes a 37-point lead in the manufacturer's championship, with their cars taking first and second place in the rally. 2019 marked the first official WRC rally in Chile. It was hard to know what to expect from an unfamiliar course. To be honest, we don't know much about Rally Chile. Uh, it's a complete new rally for us. Nobody has ever been. It's going to be a bit of a surprise, but uh, it's a nice challenge for us. A lot of work is waiting for us, but we are looking forward to it. The second stage of the rally after recondense, Thierry in sixth place has been cautious, but has now begun his attack, moving up to third. He took first in the third stage, shaking the confidence of the Toyota drivers. Could this be too much good luck. We did the Ricky of these stages uh, in the fog really slowly. It means that it was really too slow to really estimate properly the angle of the turn. Unfortunately, we arrived much faster than expected. Corner turned more than what we had in the base notes. Chile uh, was probably one of the biggest crashes in my career. Good fortune suddenly became a dire situation for the team. The Hyundai Motorsports team was excited to be pushing for the win, but now they had to refocus on fixing that badly damaged car. Uh, when I saw the car come back, uh, me personality, after a moment, I was almost losing myself. Watch the car in that moment was at all uh, not a nice view. Teams know the crashes are reality of rallying, but it's still disheartening for everyone. The car was really destroyed. From that car we saved nothing, absolutely nothing. To be honest, I was not sure if the drivers were so well. After a visit to the hospital, Thierry returned to the service park. The team was relieved and thankful to see him without any major injuries. It's good to see that both Nicola and me are fine. I mean, the car was really strong also and saved us in that situation. Every time you get knocked down, you stand up again, stronger than before. 
We feel safe in the car, that's the main thing. We are not afraid to do what we do. It's part of our job. We are competitors, so we want to fight for good results. The team was desperate, and the veteran Sebastian Lowe was steady. Lowe, 3.3 seconds quicker than the best so far. Sebastian Loeb could barely have asked for more in his first gravel event in the Hyundai i20. A first podium with the South Korea manufacturer. It may have been the first time on this course, but Sebastian is a legend for a reason. It's nice to be on the podium with uh, Hyundai for, for the first time. We had to score some points for the Manufacturer Championship this weekend. Uh, that was my job and uh, we did it. Sebastian knew what he had to do to help his team. His veteran leadership kept his team at top of the standings. Good to see we are back 100%. Uh, our car looks uh, normal again. The guys have done a good job. So uh, now we are looking forward to the actual race, uh, which is going to be difficult, but uh, we're going to try to enjoy it. Regaining confidence after a crash is critical. Without confidence, you can't push your limits of your car. To be honest, mentally not a lot. Uh, physically, more than I expected, to be honest, because uh, it took some time to recover. But mentally, uh, we came back in Portugal, don't hesitate. Uh, we knew we, we didn't felt affected, but always you need to confirm. <laughs> Thierry's upbeat run, he seemed to gain even more confidence with each turn. Heat reduces the output of the engine, and Toyota seemed to be surging. Sebastian and Dani began to lag, but just as Sebastian supported the team in Chile, it was Thierry's turn to focus on the finish. Thierry comes in second. This was a huge confidence boost for Thierry. Overall, a uh, good weekend for us, maybe not the best for Hyundai, but finally we were still able to, to don't lose many points in the Manufacturer Championship, optimizing all our chances to get a good result, and I mean, that was important, P2 at the end. Over 30 degree temperatures at Rally Italia Sardinia took a toll on both the drivers and the car. This frustrating slide off the road caused by a rare misread pace note from Nicolas Gilzul. Another 14 seconds slipping away, the two-time Sardinia winner. This time, Danny Sordo would come to the team's rescue. Danny Sordo must have imagined he was about to be handed a 26th trophy. The rally win. It had gone to Hyundai. This is Danny's first win since joining Hyundai Motorsport. When we take the win, and uh, it was amazing. I think now I'm a little bit like lost. I'm really happy and proud of my team. Andreas finished third, giving Hyundai Motorsport another double podium in Italy. They now take a more comfortable lead over second. Toyota, however, was not backing down, continuing their relentless pursuit. Toyota, with two cars finishing on the podium, cuts Hyundai's lead from 44 to 24 points. The competition for the championship title between Toyota and Hyundai has become more fierce. Toyota was not given an inch. Within eight points now, there would be a sprint to the finish. Raleigh de España is unique in the WRC for having both asphalt and gravel surfaces in one course. Nerville, fast. Mr. Catalonia himself, Seblo. The time looked good. About to win the last stage of Friday. Hyundai Motorsport finishes the day having taken first, second, and third place. Tomorrow's stage is on asphalt, and the team only has 75 minutes to change the car setup. The mechanics make every effort to do their part perfectly. Once the car is out, they can take a breath. Now it's in the driver's hands. They must adjust 
to the car's new settings. Hyundai Motorsports drivers adapt quickly. Nerville so fast in here on Saturday morning. A mixture of pleasure and pain for Thierry Nerville with 15 seconds in hand. But with his teammate Sordo behind, no one would steal the rally win from him at this point. Nerville's 12th career win and lots of points for that manufacturer's title race. Thierry Neville, first place. Donnie Sordo, third place. And with the consolation of the last rally of 2019 in Australia, Hyundai Motorsport has at last taken the manufacturer's championship title. To win the world championship title was like we are on the top of the world. We are the best. In every department in this factory, they have been working really hard. It was at the end the result what this team is doing this, since the very beginning. I The history of Hyundai Motorsport will now be newly written.